everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different and take you through my full stretch routine. Uh, typically I'll go through a specific flow from GoWad, but today I'm just doing my regular daily routine and that's because my entire body is sore. Uh, as game training picks up, our intensity is picking up and when intensity picks up, that's when you really start to feel the soreness. So it's not that I'm doing any movements that I'm unfamiliar with or things like that. It's just that we're pushing harder and the intensity just leaves you feeling like you've almost been run over by a truck. So today I'm gonna to take you through my daily stretch routine. I hope you guys get awesome stretches from this that you can also implement yourself into your routine and they hopefully make your body feel great because I usually feel really good when I finish. So for my first one, I'm gonna start with the squat opener. We squat a lot in CrossFit. It just feels really good. So I'm gonna sit in this position for three minutes. So I've got my app ready. I'll walk you guys through each position. So. What I like to do is I'm gonna start with my feet parallel, ideally, and my shoulder, they're gonna be shoulder width apart. So if I drew a line from the outside of my shoulder down, that's where my feet are gonna go. Then I'm gonna pull myself down and bring my elbows inside of my knees. And then I'm gonna think about gently pushing my knees out as I wanna lift my chest. So right now this is a hard position for me to get into. Hopefully by the end of the three minutes, I'll be feeling a little bit better. So I'm just gonna sit here and focus on my breathing and just think about the week that I've had, think about what's coming next, and just thank my body for everything that I put it through and for allowing me to put it through all of the stuff that I do daily. All right, looks like I'm ready. So next, I'm gonna go into a shoulder stretch. I really, really like this one. So I'm gonna have a PVC pipe. If you guys don't have a PVC pipe, you could use a broomstick. You could you, broomstick. You could use a Swiffer. Anything that you can find. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the PVC between our thumb and our pointer finger, right outside of our elbow, and I'm gonna gently pull it across my body. I want to make sure my torso stays upright, so I'm not hunched forward, and my head also stays upright. And then I'm just gonna gently pull my arm, so my hand goes back towards my shoulder and my elbow comes up high. One minute per side on this stretch. So when you're doing this one, it's one minute per side, you wanna make sure that your elbows are slightly pointed forwards. So we don't want our elbows to be pointed down, out to the side, and then the hand on the PVC pipe can be, you can notice it's gently open. And then I'm just gently lifting, so I'm working into this stretch. If you have front squats, squat cleans, anything along those lines in your workout, this would be a great stretch to do before or after. So next, now that I'm at my one minute per side, I'm gonna come down to the floor and I'm gonna go through just a nice butterfly stretch, just a regular butterfly. So all I'm gonna think about doing is bringing my feet together, my knees are pushed out and down, and then from here I'm gonna tuck my chin and try to take the top of my head towards my shoe. You're gonna notice I don't really get very far. So I'm gonna hit play, tuck my chin, and gently lean. All right, so holding that for three minutes, feels awesome. You start to feel everything melt away. And again, remember, apply a little bit of your pressure from your elbow down onto your knee so we can open up our inner hips. The next step, stretch is gonna be for my forearms. So I'm gonna come to my hands and my knees, and this one I like to hold for three minutes. We use our forearms so much in CrossFit. We're always holding on to something. We wanna make sure we give these guys a little TLC, and that's gonna help with some of our elbow and our wrist pain as well. So three minutes, I'm just gonna hit start, and I'm just gonna Turn my fingers pointed back towards my body and I'm gonna gently apply pressure getting my palm to the floor and then I like to try to sit back. So my fingers are all spread out in contact with the floor and this is an awesome stretch where you should feel it on each arm is straight through here. It should not hurt. If that's too much to turn your wrists all the way around, don't turn them quite as far and still just see if we can apply a little bit of pressure as we slowly sit our hips back but still keep our palms in contact with the floor. This one you guys should definitely add to your regular routine. My next one is gonna be a tricep stretch. Um, my triceps, I don't know, they get super tight but I also like it because I feel like I get a little bit of quad and a little bit of ankle as well because I'm sitting on my heels. So all I'm gonna do is one minute per side, hit my start button, I'm gonna take my hand flat to my back and I'm just gonna gently think about pulling my elbow back so my bicep is by my ear. Ooh, I'm really tight today. And just try to keep an open chest. You can also think about kind of pressing your elbow into your hand forward, and that's gonna help you get just a little bit deeper of a stretch as well. Milo's joining us if you guys just saw him walk in front of the camera. So nice big deep breaths, one minute per side, slowly trying to get the shoulder to open as much as we can and get a really good stretch right through our tricep. 
All right, guys. Next is my night stretch. Also a really great hip flexor stretch. This is also probably one of my favorite stretches that you could add into your everyday routine. Starting in a lunge position, it's going to be a little bit of a longer lunge. We want to think about keeping our shoulders over our hips. So I'm not letting my chest drop forward and I'm going to drive my knee out over my toe as my back leg stays long. So again, I'm pushing my belly button forward, keeping my eyes up, everything nice and tall. And I'm going to hold this one for about two minutes per side. Think about when you do this, something just to think about would be keeping your abs or your abdominals nice and contracted and kind of squeezing your butt. That's gonna help you drive your hips forward and also drive the stretch more into the front hip flexor rather than feeling it in a different place. The last stretch I'm gonna end with today is great for your posterior, backside, hips, everything. So it's just a forward fold. I think the forward fold's super underrated and it's one way I like to end my stretching session. So it's gonna be two minutes hitting start on my GoWad Mobility app and I'm just gonna grab my toes, tuck my chin. Ideally, by the end of the two minutes, hopefully my elbows and my forearms get closer to the floor, but I've had a really tough week and I'm really sore. So just kind of breathing here, relaxing, trying to feel like I'm elongating through the back of my leg, elongating through my back, and just relaxing into this one. Whew, I feel so much better. I hope you guys give a couple of these exercises a try. They're super awesome. They can be worked into your everyday routine. And now that we're all stretched out, uh, we should be feeling really good. So we're gonna add on an ab workout to the back of this video that Pat and I have done that we absolutely love that you guys can complete at home. We hope you enjoy it. And if you like it, make sure to drop a comment below because we will bring you more of those style workouts. Or if you like the stretching, make sure to drop a comment on that as well. Or if you have any questions on the stretches I did or the app that I love to use, please drop a comment below. Have a great day everyone and stay flexy. <laughs>